it is not an uncommon sight in the state of Illinois to see bald eagles anymore, where at one time it would have been. That's because one time these birds were hunted, but now these birds are protected from hunting. Unfortunately, a threat remains. The common everyday wires that carry electricity to our homes and businesses. The wires that carry power to our homes each carry a different charge. That's not a problem for smaller birds that we often see sitting on power lines. But for larger birds of prey, such as eagles and owls, whose wingspan can measure six feet, these power lines can be deadly when a bird touches two lines at the same time. And when a bird of prey lands on top of that, it, it, its, its wings will go across two of the phases and it could get electrocuted. Over the years, hundreds of these magnificent birds were being electrocuted and in the process knocking out power to homes and businesses. Ammer in Illinois decided to upgrade their products and techniques to help save their lives, which has also benefited customers. So overall, it, it's decreasing the outage rate across the system and providing better service to the customers. The good news is those steps have prevented the electrocution of birds by some 90 percent, but there are other reasons birds get injured. Birds have different ways kind of that they get in trouble. Uh, we've had them fly into sludge lagoons and get all nasty and they've had to come in and be cleaned up. And some of them get sprayed by skunks and it goes in their eyes and uh, it blinds them for a while. We have to clean them up. And if that happens, this rapture center rehabilitates them back to good health, then releases the birds back to the wildlife. Emerin says there's still some existing power lines that need to be treated with the new products throughout the state to make them safe for these beautiful wild birds. Indicator, Shirley DeSquerbeth.